I always do is give the truth because I'm giving the information that's coming through from spirit. I just dive straight into the messages I'm getting. I'm like a channel. I'm channeling messages only for, for one purpose, to, to help people. I want you to find your own spiritual truthness. I want you to find what you really want and who you really are. We have the answers that we are looking for within ourselves. I know I have the tools to help you. A reading with me should be like talking to a friend and it is a bit like a three-way conversation sometimes. I've got the person on the phone, I've got me and I've got another voice that's telling me things and job done. I don't do a lot really, I'm just a channel. Always I'm thankful to the people that come to me because these are people who are trusting me, they're taking that guidance and they're coming back again to let me know that that was right. My priority is to connect to your truth and through that to help you and guide you to be the best version of yourself you can be and have the best life that you can have. The purpose of a reading is very much to inspire people and to empower people and to pass messages on that are uplifting. If you can help change that person's pathway or mindset so that when they call back they're feeling much happier, that's very inspiring for me. Having a reading is about, as well as you want the predictions, but you need a feeling of being understood because reading should be empowering. The reading is not about me. I'm not in it. It's about you. I'll be looking at not just the obstacles in your life, but also the opportunities. I'd like to be the person that's going to straighten your crown for you. I like to class a reading as an oasis for the soul, time out where we can really spoil ourselves. It's been able to help somebody have a map back to where they've got lost from. Everything begins and ends with you.